So I'm going to flip this rock over so you can see what it looks like on the top. Okay, so if you, you know, on the top these rocks are a little bit baked, there's sediment caked over barnacles, um, little porcelain crab here who crawled over from the bottom when I flipped the rock. I turned it over to look for um, these uh, calyptraeids, these slipper shells. Um, so sometimes you find them on the bottoms of rocks, sometimes up on the sides, and here are a couple of well-grown, uh, probably adult females. Um, this species has a lot of um, spiny shell texture, or shell sculpturing. Um, and if we wanted to collect them, the way to do that is to surprise them, kind of by poking at the apex and gently dislodging them. A lot of live barnacles on this rock, too. is Crepidula lesoni. You can tell it's lesoni because it has these foliations on the shell. Yes. These ridges. Uh -huh. Sometimes they're really smooth though, so it's hard to tell, but if you get one like this, it's for sure, for sure. Um, lesoni, they're usually really white. I think this uh -huh. one's just dirty. Uh -huh. um, oh, and here you can check out the chitons. We're talking about chitons moving fast yes. here. So in the Pacific Northwest where Katie and I started working, they never move. I mean, they can, but they're very slow. And here, <laughs> oftentimes they really run. These aren't really running. Some of them can go very fast. And it was such a shock to us when we came here because they uh, just don't expect them to move at all. Okay, so how many calyptraeids can you see here? There's one. It's a crucibulum. There's a bostricapulus. There's another crucibulum, bostricapulus, 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 crucibulum. And a couple over here, another bostricapulus. As you can see, they're a little bit hard to see until you get an eye for it. That's a bivalve. <laughs> So these are really cool because they they eat algae and they take the chloroplasts from the algae out of the food and keep them in the body alive, photosynthesizing for the slug. Can you see the snail? Very spiny. Oh, come on, let go, guy. Oh, wow. Most of them are females. We just have one male. This here is a colonial tunicate. Oh, wow. A diademnid, probably. This is a bryozoan, this purple one. And you can feel the difference in the texture. This one's smooth and slippery. Mm -hmm. And this one's kind of spiny. Oh, yes. Most people see something like this and think it's a tube worm. It's actually a snail called a siliquarid. <laughs> 